finished? No, I made a, I made a dedicated mission for this. No, no, no. The like the slot list add-on, the slotting screen add-on. I mean. What is that? You mean the thing that um. The who, thing that Jane has made. The the yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's it's uh, not in anymore. I think it had some issues. So. Uh, okay. What is it? What does that do, Viaxo? What? The custom slotting screen thing that you're talking about? Just different, a different slotting screen that looks cool and has a UO logo and shit. We used to have that. It's been a while I haven't played, right? Because I think <laughs> it's been quite a while it's not on anymore. I haven't seen it. I I have not played Arma in quite a while. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it in a while, so... So, well, I'm probably the last one still loading. If you look on the map, um, I already pre-assigned or pre-planned the four observation posts on the north side of the map. That's where we'll go, most likely at OP1, I think, just together in the initial part. And our battery is located on this little artillery shitty non-AAP6 compliant marker in 031072. That's where Glowy and Darkseid will manning the paladins. So let's... Uh... Just a quick uh, reminder. Um, don't forget your basic uh, radio procedures. Um, and by that I mean uh, the speed of your transmission. Because obviously you have uh, written down your fire mission, and when you send it in to the FTC, uh, they don't really know what's coming, so take it nice and easy. Very good, yeah. Remember yeah, the Yeah, we ABC. have to write it down too, so... Which is why I got a pen and paper. I grabbed note cards. Yeah. Well, lucky you. Uh, To go to the gear crate and drop all the precision navigation shit you have, because I think I, you still have daggers. I didn't have the time to fully develop this mission. I'm not a good mission maker. We would drop no, we the dagger. Have, we, don't, we don't have and daggers. The vector. Yeah, we don't have dagger. All you should pick up is a compass, map, and the um, uh, binoculars. Do we need a long range? Yes, and the 117 have... Fox, preferably. Of course. That's if you don't have a radio, you're pretty much useless as an observer. At the end of the day. Was that Unless you have a, 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 a RTO. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then you have a radio in your team. Yeah. Whoa! Does this bunker keep disappearing for anybody else? Are we gonna drop or pick up the vector and dagger? Just drop up the vector and dagger for now. We'll play take, around with them later. Don't take the one one nine. Take the one seven fox. Yeah, it has better output power. Should have at least they they changed something there so the PM Max was. power out. All right, we'll be using channel one. Make sure you crank up your uh, output power by a program uh, power. You should be familiar with this. Yeah. Let's crank it up to maximum. All right, then I'll spawn a little truck and beam us over there. I actually wanted to put in these teleport toilets, but I was just stupid and didn't have enough time. Let's see what we can get in here. Unfortunately, the trucks are not implemented in the Yaxo script here, so I'll have to use something. Yeah, you can add them right now if you want. So, which mm. radio exactly do, we, do we take? Yeah, uh, one can. seven Fox. How do I do that? There's also MC trucks in here that you can spawn. One, one. You can also can you just. Set do you How want do me that? to spawn one for you? I mean, I can still do it. I'm an instructor. Oh, huh, then go ahead. Oh, he probably made himself have the debug console, because he's smart. It's just something I need when... Uh, I made this fucking mission, so you know. Yeah, I'm well, saying, yeah, you made the... So you so have you, your back door, so I, I get it. Yeah, he made himself have a back door, so he can... Also, apparently I'm still in the GM list, because I still have the debug console. Perfect, so we have a GM here. Hey, everybody <laughs> ready to get on the truck? Perfect, let's mount it up. Yeah, it would be kind of hard for me to test this mission when I can't use the functions in it. Yeah. True, yeah. 
So you made it. So if your player, if everybody the player ID, you get the. Yeah. Anybody oh, not in? Finally lets, finally lets me in. And we're all in. Yeah. Ooh. A bit high. Everybody disembark. The truck is high. Just leave the truck here for now. Um, Jumark. Turn yourself up to shout, Yakso. Jumark. Follow me, follow me. You maybe wanna disable the fucking markers. What's the, what's the... Disable markers. <coughs> oh, way I markers on. I don't see markers. Okay. Markers off. It happens. Perfect. There you go. Okie dokie, let's assume this is an OP. In reality, I wouldn't really want to set up here because you're pretty visible, there's no concealment. So you wouldn't really sit here, we're only sitting here for the purpose of this practice, right? Um, let's crank up the view distance. 5,000 should be sufficient to get you a good overview of the targets already placed here. So oh, we have a very to pick up wide field of view. I'll Actually, spawn you some. Yeah, I already have targets. No, I don't crank binoculars. up the uh, view distance. I don't have any option when I scroll. A hey, settings. Oh, have, uh, away settings. I have eyes on one of your targets. Two yeah, tanks yeah. south. Binoculars here. What you ever needed them still. A settings only holds treat wounds, magazines, and goggles and mask. Oh, oh, press that. escape and then. Yeah. Oh, escape, you mean in A, a settings? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll turn on my target south. Let's look first, uh, guys, what we should already have done in the fire support planning. What are good known points we can use? What are good target reference points? Let's move up, uh, let's open up the map again. And as you see, there's not a lot of um, distinctive features around this o whole area. If you look, um, let's look into grid square 04. One two, the one kilometer four digit grid square zero four one two, and if you look at the bottom left in zero four one one two one, we have this little house at the um, ASR going west to east. Let's assume that this area is our primary zone of observation for now. So I would, for example, use this house as a TRP, right? Hold on. Where? At? I'm sorry, but I missed that. Check out the marker I just made in 041121. If you now look with your binoculars, we have uh, basically just look down direction ish. Uh, mills, we're talk looking at uh, 2550 mills. That's where the house is at, right? Let's oh, assume we I already don't... had that established before. Yeah, have eyes on. Salvo, this is Argos Radio Check Over. Hope the radio distance. Argos, this is Salvo, radio 5 by 5 over. Argos, loud and clear out. Okie dokie, everybody has this radio on channel 1, right? Right. Salvo, this is Argus. Uh, register target reference point Alpha Charlie 5001 in grid square 041121. Grid per map, altitude 300 meters. Over. Roger, I see Alpha Charlie 5001, altitude 300 meters. Obviously, that was not really an official procedure I just used here, but. Um most likely you will already have your TRPs pre-designated. If we look around the map, in this area there's not a lot of terrain features that are very suitable for a TRP. So it might be kind of hard to find good stuff for TRP. Road intersections might work, something that you can distinguish in the town that might work. If you look around Cherneros and other towns, you might have churches, you might have these large water towers, you might have these huge radio towers on the mountains, you might have a something that is distinguishable, natural, or human-made terrain feature that you can use. To Roger that. You know one thing we didn't grab is map tools. What? Map tools? Map tools, yeah. They are kind of uh, helpful as well, but you don't even need these. I always have a real-life protractor actually handy to get 
grids off the map uh, without having to use them. Always find that a little handy. At least get a some kind of uh, geo triangular thing. Um, so let's look at that. No, our target reference point we just established. We see some BMPs in the open, right in front of there, right? Yeah. I can't see it. Yeah, have your binoculars up? Oh, I do, and I see the map, and I see the road, but I don't see any other. You have the view distance turn up? Your, yeah, you turn your view yeah. distance up. Do you have it at 5,000? Uh, I do. Which is... Okay, so... Oh, you have the target down? Up a bit Everybody more, yeah. sees that town, uh, that house, and sees that little BMP on the right side in front of it, right? Yep. Yeah. Same. So... Assuming that the BMP just pulled up there and we had this known point established beforehand, how would you, what method of target location would you guys naturally prefer? Naturally. Shift, Shift from known, known point. Naturally. Very good answer. Yeah. Actually? Well, it, naturally a lot of people are going to think grid, but... Okay, yeah, well... So uh, what do we have to find out when we are doing a shift from a known point? We have to identify the point, right? So that the FTC knows what we're shifting from. What else do we have to determine? Distance. What distance? Hmm. To from the TRP. Yeah. From the TRP, yeah. So we're we're talking about the range shift. So if you look with your binoculars range, yeah. aimed at the uh, either at the TRP or at the target, we're talking about the shift along that line and along the vertical line, right on the ground in meters. That's what we have to find out, and we also have to find out if you align the target, um, uh, the the reticle on the house, the the lateral shift, so on the horizontal line, how much meters do we have to shift to the right here in order to hit that BMP? The altitude here is almost the same, so we don't have to worry about this. This is not more than 35 meters in altitude difference. So, so I, you could you could use your mill range formula. You could measure out the distance there on the map, and then again you could directly use a grid if you have that. But you can, in, if you have to be responsive and quick, you can just guesstimate it. And the more experience you get in that, the more precise that'll be. So I would just guesstimate that this BMP, what? It's like a hundred meters to the west. I'd say fifty, thirty. Fifty maybe. meters right. Yeah, that's what I would say too. And I would drop maybe fifty, seventy-five meters, eh? I'd say add 50 direction west. Add 50 would bring the round behind the building into the forest. Uh, unless you do direction west. Uh. Yeah, but yeah, hmm. well, you would naturally transmit the direction we're currently looking at. That which is if you pull up your compass again, two five five zero mils, right? I would say that the direction using west is a lot more accurate here because we're so fucking far away. Yeah, using your, using your compass from here is a bit not iffy. Really, not, not if you compare it to, you can see, okay, it's closer there. It looks like it's to the west. I would consider that a more reliable option. Yeah, I would say, yeah, that's. Be... Why would that be more reliable if you if you use the the western mill? Basically, you're shifting along a line which you look at in a different angle. So you basically have to compensate in your brain for another. Uh, Somebody's freaking on the radio. Let me just try out my version, then we can try out. Say uh, huh? Who's doing something? Okay, yeah, so yeah, basically, something. we can agree right 50, and I would say drop 50, and we're talking of the observer target line 2550 mils. Anybody question how we derive this? How do we get to that number? Nope. Yeah, I just uh, didn't understand. Salvo, this is Argus, uh, adjust fire, shift, Alpha Charlie 5001, over. Argus, this is Salvo, adjust fire, A Alpha Charlie 5001, Direction two radio. five five zero. If you need one. Right five zero. Drop five zero. Over. Direction two 
2550, right 50, drop 50, out. BMP in the open. Oh. Yeah, I don't... BMP in open, out. Most people won't understand that. That is my problem. Who is people? You or the other guys No, here? most people running the mortars are in or artillery are not going to understand that with the way we are look. That's we're calling off the way we are looking. Basically, that's what you have to do in the Paladins, what he's doing right now, he puts in the t what two five five zero mils in the OT direction field, then he puts fifty in the right field and fifty in the he drop field. I'm so talking that about without using the that. I'm talking yeah, about I get your using point. a battery computer. But by that matter, we wouldn't, we couldn't use any of the, like, nine-line procedures. You, yes, you I could. Mean, you could use all of this without having a computer. You just have to do the math in your head. Yeah, yeah. So, kind of paper. The thing that Zoomwork is saying here that is that if you say, well, Argus, people this don't know how to do this, I guess you really can't use alpha zero, zero, That's just one, a horrible attitude. Two rounds, DPICM, time of flight, two, zero, point one. Message to observer, target number Alpha 001, two rounds, ICM, time of flight, 2-0, out. Didn't fully copy that, but... Uh, oh, I see what you mean. So, most uh, guys, say, doing the battery and stuff wouldn't realize that when you're saying left, or right in this case, they probably we're, don't we're, see it that they're... You know it from your position, which is north of it, they're probably seeing it as go right 50 mils from their position, which is south of it, which would be our so, left. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I get that point, but I mean, that we're trying to teach these procedures, and they have been taught in the former observer courses in that way. I mean, if we just kind of improvise, then, you know, the whole purpose of this is kind of... It's not improvising, it was like the way you actually was trying to say is, instead of using it from my position right instead of just say west but this is in my opinion that overcomplicates the thing if you always west, use that's... your observer target direction you have a standardized way you don't have to think am i going to use west now from, as reference use? from the fdc's perspective it simplifies things oh yeah if you just say west and that's what you want here you want to have it simple for the fdc so he can more effectively put out the mission so yeah, saying west would be a Not lot easier. In, for the paladins right now, yeah. this doesn't make it easier. But so imagine if we're running... Uh, if I'm telling you west, then he'll have to calculate the new grid himself. Or he has to put in the 1-800 mils as OT direction, and he might as well use the real OT direction. I don't see what the advantage would be here with the paladins. If, if you really want to simplify, just send the grid. The thing is though, is zoom work. How often are paladins used into, compared to howitzers? Paladins are howitzers. Well, I mean the M uh, I've, played, I've played a lot of missions, and in, in the missions where the M119s have the BCS, uh, this is uh, just as usable. I mean, but you can argue, but if you have an untrained FTC, then for, by all means, use West or use the gun target line, which is even more easier for the FTC, if you're able to do that. I'm, well, uh, it, I have no it doesn't mean how, it's not about how trained the FTC is, though. It's just that it will simplify it. Yes, but I agree on that. Especially if you have to do all manually. And especially if you're sending things over the radio and back, I personally prefer having things as simple as possible, as short as possible. Yeah. So. In well, I will not tell you how to do your FO work, but. Um, for me, this and has worked pretty well on many occasions. I'm like the last thinking. time I FO'd in Green Goose, we had a Pi Spy on the M019s with that uh, battery computer. And I'm just thinking I, I more. I don't know why the rounds take so long now, but. More often than not, they're not. Uh, not really, no. They're not, not using BCS. He might be oh, yeah. firing high angle because of the hill there, but. Yeah. Should Probably, yeah. I should have called high angle on this one. Well, generally, well. When I FTC, I always double check that. Oh, it should be the duty of the observer to check that. But we we already but, tr uh, uh, rehearsed this entire thing. I don't know why it's things along that. Um, but, um, Argus, this is Salvo. Shut up. Shut out. So he should say shut over. But he's used to the Danish way of doing things, which is a little different. Where they have a complex shot message instead of um, a lot of things that are in the MTO.
And to be fair, he's used to the Danish way, so they're actually just throwing it instead of firing it. What? They throw axes and stuff. Oh. That's pretty good. Didn't he say uh, DPICM? No, that's the adjust round. DPICM will follow. Oh, yeah, okay. Argus, fire for effect, over. Argus, uh, salvo, fire for effect, out. Right, go. Actually, I should have objected to the ICM because I'll know that we'll take shitload of ICM rounds to break that BMP. But. It should to be easier to break with ICM than with HE. Yes, but in reality, my experience, HE will make the job better with less rounds. ICM is more effective in this game against infantry and all that stuff, which you have, you know, when you have a dispersed target, that's very effective. Uh, so, so, personal experience, active fire seriously, mission? ICM, DPICM will... You just say, just cancel, and then the, the number... DPI-CM might not oh, make okay. the vehicle explode, but it will al al always almost disable it. Yeah, you'll have so. a neutralizing effect. Which but is it, what you want. Yeah, true. But in reality it's even more efficient, because you'll have the DPI-CM, you know, break the optics of the vehicle, actually do damage to the vehicle without having to damage, you know, its engine or having to damage. I agree with you, but for in my experience, in the practical application of armor, you're sometimes better off with HE. In my experience, I love yelling at FOs who call in HP on heavy armor. Shut up! Correction, shut over. Shut out. You won't believe how often that actually happens. Really? Like, oh god, there's a platoon of T90 I moving down the road. I was just HP! Rounds complete out. <laughs> it's like, it means dude. high explosive, right? It'll blow yes. up the tank. It's like, dude, I have... Fucking shade arm and everything. That just totally Ooh. hit the mountain. Oh, oh yeah. That's air bursting. He probably had. Argus, high yeah. angle, repeat, over. I'm guessing he. Oh, oh yeah, that one's good. I'm guessing that was Sawa, high he angle, repeat, up out. First. He's shooting HE again, though, isn't he? No, this is. That wasn't him, I didn't see it. Yeah, and you didn't see it just scatter across the ground? No, I was looking at, uh. That was so if it, isn't that timed? Yeah, it, it is. It, it needs to be a little bit shorter, uh, longer timing. Right? Yeah, the uh, it opens quite high. Yeah. So obviously, what I just did there, in terms of adjustment, is because I thought the rounds were hitting the mountain or the trees. Um, well, I said high angle, so he would change to high angle and then just repeat the rest, right? Needs to add like another point two seconds. To that also. What you would do in terms of the hate of burst is you would use the up and down to correct for that. So I would say up 20. So, yeah, burst is, yeah, you need to go down 10, down and 20. If you want to have a longer time of flight, you'll have, yeah, I mean, if you want to have a, what we're talking about is hate of burst, not about the timing of the fuse. Yeah, which that burst was pretty high because it just scattered from, it made like a radius of about 50 meters. This is, to my experience, also that base ejecting thing is not properly uh, simulated. If you put Shut the time on, of the impact, if you put the time of the impact in there, um, then it will still spread it across the thing, even though in that's reality the round would hit the ground. Actually, no, that's not how it works. In real life, the M109 calculates it to show you what what to put the fuse time on. Yeah, and when I put Which that, which so is what it does here too. But, well, but it doesn't. It do, how does it know what hate of burst I want? It takes just a standard. Oh. In any case, if you want to correct the hate of burst, you use up and down in meters. And why it takes a standard, I'm guessing, is because it probably just because it's more foolproof, like that. True. Yeah. I mean, it's the U.S. probably has fucking hundreds or even thousands of howitzers in reserve well that round that is they... uh, way beyond the target line. beyond no 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 so it just left yeah we'd have to adjust left and drop another 100 meters and left obviously 100 as well at least no 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 it's just too short from the gun yes it's adjusting left from our position we're shifting from the line from this position to the vehicle 
Yeah. Say that again. We have a very high angle T here. This is why the angle T is normally announced when it's greater than 600 mils. And the angle yeah, T being I, the hmm. line from the gun to the target and the angle between my my observer target line and the gun target line. It's actually a funny adjustment because what's happening is it's bursting too soon. So even if you adjust left or right, it will still burst too soon. Yeah, that's what we were just talking about. Anyway, I, I want to end the mission here to give you guys the, the floor here because I don't want to have my, myself calling in a fireman for half an hour. Argus Alpha 001, end of mission, target suppressed. Over. On Alpha 5001, end of mission, target suppressed out. Okay, does somebody want else want to call in a fire mission? Uh, sure, I'll do it. Okay, just choose a target and let us know what you want to shoot at so we can look the, at it. The uh, radar tower. Perfect. Accurate. Uh, big one. So what, what method of target location have you chosen? Um, shifting from the known location. Okay, yeah, it's a very uh, far away though from the target, so you'll have to make a lot of uh, adjustment, but okay. Alright, hold on, let me see, let me look. Actually, the difference there is in melts here is very I could large. actually do maybe a grid, let me see. Yeah, I know. Maybe you yeah, should I try a polar. A... I can... How about a polar? A polar? Yeah, you know where we are, right? Yeah. So you have to transmit your position. Thing is, is I don't polar. know distance. You you don't. Uh, oh yeah, you need the distance. This is obviously yeah. a little tricky here. But we have no um because I have no idea how big individual parts of the radar is. So you have to either use the map and roughly guesstimate how far the tree line is away, and then add another hundred meters, or you have to um just guesstimate it using the football method, which is a little hard here because it's very far away. So if you use polar here, you'd have to look at that map, measure out how far the tree line is away, and then uh, use that as your distance. It will be very imprecise at the beginning, but that's why we have just fire, and you can just shift it onto okay. the target. So how would I do uh, finding the di uh, distance again? Well, either uh, you have, uh, if you have a reference object there, like if you know the radar dish of this thing is two meters long, you could measure it out. But in this case, the object is kind of, at least I don't, I wouldn't know what to, to use as reference here. So you would really have to use uh, your map tools and measure out the distance on the map. Which we don't have map tools, okay. Yeah, let me right, use my... so I could really give a, give him mills, you... and then can I shift it from that point? You could give him mills and just completely roughly guesstimate the distance. If you look at the map, we're looking at maybe two and a half kilometers. Two point two, I would say. I have a calculator for this stuff, but I don't feel like using that. Um, well, you don't need. I, yeah, I could actually calculate the distance in the azimuth and stuff, but. Um, so two and a half kilometers. Yeah, let's just say two kilometers. I just roughly, I, for example, I just used my ruler on the screen and roughly measured the distance to these tree lines here. It's two kilometers ish. So j let's try two kilometers and then you adjust the fires onto the thing. Okay, what is his call sign? Uh, Salvo. Choose whatever you want. Or, or what do we have? I think you were in. I'm Charlie. Down. Charlie, yeah. Salvo. Salvo, this is Charlie. Uh, adjust fire. Over. Polar. You have to say polar. Polar. So when you when you say something wrong, the way to correct this is correction. Adjust fire. Polar. Over. Correction. Adjust fire. Polar. Charlie, this is Salvo. Adjust fire. Out. He still thinks you're using grit, so you have to resend it. 
Salvo, this is Charlie. I just fired pole art. Over. Charlie, this is Salvo. I just fired polar out. Major, go ahead. Uh, well, so yeah, that was a polar. No, you would only have to say now. Wait. You have your major first transmission, distance. so the second transmission. Direction, distance, and if applicable, vertical shift. And okay. we have a vertical shift. So direction, I. So that'd be like uh twenty. Two thousand four hundred like. Two four five zero ish. Two four five zero. Direction two four five zero distance two and a half kilometers over. So you could already still compensate already compensate for the vertical shift. Uh, Direction down. two a four a five a zero a distance a two point five. Uh, send OP locks that over. OP locks locks that grid zero two six. One four one OP one over. OP one it a zero a two a six a one a four one over. Yeah, obviously this is not very streamlined right now because I forgot that myself even to transmit the OP our, our location. However, you have now about two and a half kilometers distance, and you you have a very exact direction. So the the um, lateral diversion is most likely going to be a lot. So the only thing we'll have to worry about... Target description. The yes. Radar uh, tower in the open. Over. Radar tower in the open. Open. So you could have specified high angle to make sure we're not hitting that thing again, but it could be working. I don't know what solution they'll choose. I don't think it would be. Hmm. And uh, obviously now they will use HE quick, which will work for this target very well. So this is Charlie Fire when ready. That is always standard. You don't have to say that. Oh, okay. I didn't. So you should. The only thing that should come now is the MTO, which will come now. Fire when ready out. Not. What? When given your uh, OP lock stat, if you can you mark, if you're you very can quiet. Sorry, hold on. Let me turn myself up to shout. Oh, I'm already on shout. Can you hear me better? I'm standing right in front of you. It's still very quiet. Am I the only one who hasn't been fired? Yeah, I hear him. He's, I can hear. He's pretty quiet, but yeah, I can hear him. Try it again, Hardwell. I'm sorry. Is it better now? Not yeah. No. Oh, okay. Uh, anyways, uh, when marking your uh, lock OP lock stat, um, if you can physically mark it exactly where you were on the map, should you? Yes. Yeah. I mean, some would understand that as cheating, Acre. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can. Take well, out. what you could do is give an eight digit grid or a ten digit grid. Yeah, yeah. That's the way to to say it. So my position is grid altitude, and he has that. Have to cheat sure thing. And the reason why now it might sound all very awkward because you're saying all oh, yeah why why not use grit? But if you um, if you imagine now we have you could probably very easily even without map tools and all uh, find out the grit of this entire aircraft radar. But imagine that there's not a lot of reference in the area like these tree lines wouldn't be there it would be desert. How do you find out the exact grit without being able to? No, you of course you can you can uh, the distance you estimate in the polar you might as well just plot that polar plot on your map and then give him the grid. So if your FTC is, you know, preferring that and if you want to speed it up that way, okay. But in my experience, really, and that's the reason why they have this in reality, is that you can do this polar quicker than having you plot it out on the map when the guy down there has a battery computer that can just calculate that instantly. But the thing is, it was half the time we don't have a battery computer. Yes, and yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so... 
Although uh, it catches on more, uh, a lot of missions have this now, and a lot of missions have these. Like, look at Ostrup, look at uh, Green Goose, look at um, Herbensborg, look at um, a lot of these missions that feature artillery prominently with you know proper F0 and FIS team slots. They they have a BCS, and it's not really a high tech invention. It's been there for 70s and 80s. So most of the stuff we simulate in there should be BCS. Or a motor battery computer, a motor ballistic computer. Looks like the guys are kind of stuck over there. Might want to check on them and see when the first rounds are inspected to be fired. Can you hear me better with them now? A little better, yeah. Let me quickly teleport over there and see what the hassle is. Just, uh, Still there, Yak, though. No, hey, so. How did you guys get the Milis again? You look at your compass? Yep. The second set of numbers? The further set? The small ones? Yeah, they're just Mills. Yeah, of course. The other ones are bearing. Yeah, well, bearings. it's they're both bearings, but. One's at degrees, the other's the Mills. Right. Cool. Roger, we're just uh, computing the. Data right now. How quiet am I feeling? Guys? I can hear you normal. Oh, no, this is Charlie, repeat. Say again. Charlie. Charlie, this is Salvo. I say again, we are computing gun data at this time. Can anybody this else hear me? I can hear you. Yep. Yeah. I can't hear at all. He's so quiet. He said he's computing data. Wow. Oh. Did you turn your headset down? No, like it's action menu. No, it's still up. Do you guys hear me better? Check no. volume uh, and uh, power. No, it doesn't. Have, the power has to do with mine. It have. No yeah, power. Yeah, too. The power yeah. is the, oh, at which I send. Not at which. I hear you. Good. This I still, still think it's. I, my opinion is, I like to think it, that we're never going to have a battery computer because most missions don't. August, this is Salvo, shout out. Shout out. Oh, this worked better when he was one manning this, I don't know what the hell is this. Apologize. That's okay. Come on. Two minutes. myself, it. So, um, all this seems to prove your point. Oh, well, yeah. it's off. It's not so problem. That's five, right, five hundred, no, yeah, about five hundred. What? No. No, that's 300, something like that. Yeah, maybe uh, if you roughly use your OT factor, which is 2, we multiply the 40 mils by 2, we're looking at... Um, 300 meters. What? At 2. What? I'm retarded myself, wait a minute. Looking at 40 mils deviation, using OT factor 2. Bring us 80 meters. That was, we used two and a half. It's more because it's more than two clicks, isn't it? Um, we yeah. used two and a half. So. That's it. That was at five. It's 300 meters. Just guesstimate. Let's say it's uh, 300 meters. 
Right 300 down, let's see. Down 150. Yeah. So I just say, Salva, this is Charlie, adjust right 300. Go to, all you say is right 300, drop 500, or whatever you had. Salva, this is Charlie, right 300, drop 150. Over. Charlie, this is Salvo, right 300, drop 150. So, shoot another adjust round. If you would be certain that this would already land on the target, which you are not in this case, clearly, yeah. you would say fire for effect after that correction, after that adjustment. And you would fire the three rounds he had specified in the MTO already there. And I don't know why my mill formula is not working. What the fuck? In total, they are, uh, yeah, I just computed them, so now it says 302350. Well, as long as Positive. Hmm? I think he's on the wrong radio. Uh, ask questions afterwards, I'm, I'm gonna shoot. Yep, definitely on the radio. What? Wrong radio, bro. I told him to get fucking in the same gun instead of one manning two, because apparently it doesn't work. <laughs> and they're shooting at just right now. There's only one gun for me. I'm still wondering why my microphone's going quiet. They're looking at your uh, setting. Charlie, Salvo, fire. Over. Maybe I still have my. Uh, 5.1 system enabled, but you're the only guy that I'm hearing quiet, I don't know why. I got a whole new sound card the other month to try and fix this problem. No, you're loud enough now, I think. Don't worry about it, man. I think... Actually, uh, do you remember when I was really, really loud? Yeah, I remember. Maybe I turned you down, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say, have you still got me turned down from then? I think your mills do work, but it's 225 meters. Oh yeah, I had you 9 decibel down. Do a sound better now then. Perfect. Brilliant. Oh. My apologies. And uh, maybe my 80 meters weren't so far, because 300 apparently is way too far right. But we're a little closer on the target. And obviously in this case, this successive bracketing technique would be kind of adequate. So you would so first try to just shift the round on the lateral axis, so it's on your observer target line, and then you would establish a range bracket. So you would go drop 200, add 200, and then you continuously decrease the bracket onto the target until you have a 50 meter bracket, and then you round will land with a mathematical certainty within 50 meters of target. But you can just continue with the one round adjustments if you want to. Salva, this is Charlie, drop 200. Ah, da da. Yeah. Over. Uh. Charlie, this is Salva, drop 200. Out. You're still way too far right. That wasn't that far right, was it? For me, it landed, landed. Almost yeah, like I... 10, 10 mils left of the uh, TRP. Yeah, it landed close to the other BMP, didn't it? If it's already landed, oh, it's it miles off because it wasn't even on my binocular scope. Yeah, yeah, it was. You'll if you see I... the other BMP, it was quite close to that. Yeah. If you reference the TRP, and you go Shut um, 30 mils down and 10, uh, 5 mils left, you have the impact crater. Yeah, the thing is, it was that when it drops, it's gonna drop. Should drop closer to it. It'll drop parallel to your line to the target, right? So it'll drop somewhere oh. into that open field there on the right, and then you'll still have to adjust it left in the right I'm range. I'm horribly, horribly confused as to how you're working out the distance. Uh, okay, the you're looking. Distance. You're looking with your binocular at the anti-aircraft radar, right? Yep. So imagine this lo vertical line going through your binocular being a line that goes on the ground. If like we we, we, pu we pull a rope to that anti-aircraft radar. 
Okay. Yeah, so we would, that would be our observer to target Take all the info. Dark so bad in range. So all you have to do is left. Left. Maybe about 50, 100. 50, 50. Yeah, about 50. 50 meters? Uh, no, no, there's no, more. 100, at least. 100. This is Charlie, uh, left a hundred, over. It's gonna be land somewhere in the middle. Um, yeah, you're, you're talking about 19 Charles, mils here. Salvo, left 100, out. If you, if you measure the mils here, from that last impact to the anti-aircraft radar, we're talking about 8 mils, right? And if I had written down the entire uh, adjustments we made, we would already have established pretty much exact range, because right now the range is pretty good, so you wouldn't know the distance to target now. And you could use the, the, the observer, the mill relation formula earlier, I, I mentioned earlier. So we have these 8 mils, so 80 mils, I'm sorry, um, mm -hmm. times whatever distance we just figured out, so 2 something. So we're at least talking about 160 meters. This is why I think it's a lot easier to read map tools. Not really, if you're, uh, believe me, I mean, uh, it's right now a little bit awkward altogether here. Yeah, no, it's it's easier this way. You're just looking down the planet. You don't even need yes. to open your map. Exactly, and you still have eyes on the target. You, of course, it will not work perfectly on the first attempt, uh, but the more you practice it, the better it is. And if you have a mill reticle, you know you don't have to have any type of measurement tool in order to get distance, as long as you have something that you can reference. If Shut you know, up. Yeah, I should that. confirm I shot out, by the way. Oh. Never mind, the shot is fired, yeah. so okay. Yeah. Take I was thing. wanted I was wanting to do it from uh a try a grit mission after that and see how, how more easy that is. Yeah, but after you shoot to adjust you will adjust with uh, a direction anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. With, so for, with I don't understand why it would be whatever. advantageous in having the. And I if you change your position, it will work nevertheless, right? You don't need to tell them a new position if it happens that you need to shift. You just tell yeah, the new direction. Once you shift, um, you just tell the new direction. Yeah. And as you see, um, I mean, the range looks pretty good here. So all I'm measuring right now is the the lateral shift, and I'm looking at 60 mils, right? The three plus three. If you align the three on the both things, so I'm looking at 60 mils. Um, times two would be 120. So if you go 120 left, I would think we'd land somewhat right on target. Could I guess a bit more, <laughs> like 140? Yeah, I mean, put in your, <laughs> put everybody can put his bit in the. <laughs> Salvo, this is Charlie. One, one four zero left. Over. So you using the mills on the actual. Charlie, this Salvo yes. again. Over. How are you using that? That's what's confusing me. Okay, yeah, these numbers well, you see are 10, really 10 mils. One, the one is 10 mils. Oh. So you have to multiply that by 10. And the OT factor is your distance in thousands. Yeah. So Charles, have one, four, zero left. Really Roger, out. Oh my god, this worked way more. Oh, whatever. Um, but the idea is clear, I think. And this is really the advantage, because you use these adjustments, no matter if you do grit, you do the same thing. As, long, as soon as we have that first round hitting, grit, and Polar are no different. See, I originally just wanted to do a shift from the noon position and just shift it north. Yeah, but as you see, you don't shift north, you shift along the OTL. And right now, yeah. the, the the difference between the two targets is like a thousand... Ah, wait a minute, 50 to 50... It's just a hundred mils, really, right? Fifty plus yeah, fifty is a hundred. Yes, if, if you could still do that, um, but a hundred is somewhat the, the the border you usually use. But so if, if I can if I can say something here, if you adjust north, so to say, you're estimating how much to adjust. If you yes. adjust from your direction, you are using the binoculars to precisely measure how much to adjust, how much to adjust. That is the point. So you can yes. calculate. 140 meters or 145 meters instead of making an, you know, an educated guess, okay, it's more or less 150. 
So it's about precision and not, I guess. Correct. Lewis got it. So just going back to basics because apparently I'm incredibly slow with this. One to Don't one is it. ten mils, and because it's two k. No, shut no, 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 no. From the center, zero point to the one is ten mils. Okay, uh, that's ten mils. Uh, so Charlie, two, two kilometers away, you uh, times it by twenty. You no, times it by two. Times it by two. Yeah, for every. You so okay? One, so one you mil is at a thousand. One mil at a thousand meters is one meter. Yeah. Correct. So if it's at two thousand meters, then you times it by two. Because it's gonna be nowhere to adjust. But surely wouldn't that just give us twenty meters? Mm hmm. Ten mils would give us twenty meters. Twenty meters, yes, yeah. at two kilometers. Yeah. Although we, what, what we, what I didn't do unfortunately is write down the entire adjustments we made one by one. We should do that because right now we would know the exact distance because we have figured it out from our base Plus distance two thousand, right? No, um, and that was too much. Thirty. So let's mil. use our OT factor again. I'm measuring thirty mils times two is sixty meters to the right. We did two and a half originally. Two and a half. Yeah, I don't know what the exact range is here. We did two and a half originally, so... Let's put 70 meters right. Right, yeah, our, zero. Our distance to target is not two and a half, it's two at best. Yeah, two and... I would say, I remember actually rehearsing this, it was something like 2.1, 2.2 kilometers. Yeah, it's two. So you can okay. say 60, right? So... 60 to the right. Yeah. That's to adjust, like, for fire, uh... Adjusting the fire, but when you're uh, actually working out the mills from where you are, is that where you use the compass? Yeah, you, you mean the direction? Oh. Yeah, the direction from where you are. Yeah, the direction, you just look at the target with your compass and read the direction. That's thing why it is, is so easy. The thing is that the compass is kind of hard to use because you can hardly see it. You don't have to have 100% precise mill on these distances. Uh, as long as it's within 100 mils. It'll work perfectly fine. So oh, 100 mils. For example, just while we're doing this, uh, the to give a polar from the actually actual TRP to here, that would be say two two and a half TRP kilometers. Two and a half kilometers and adjust. Oh, let me find it. Adjust uh, 40 right. If you want to do a polar, imagining we're sitting on that house, is what you're saying. No, a polar from here, and you're trying to hit from, the house. Uh, from here to the house, okay, yeah, that's easy. Okay, we look at the house with our binoculars, we line the reticle there, and I'm opening my compass. My compass reads 2550 mils guesstimated. Reading the compass, right? You get the same thing? Yep. 2550 five, mils, we're looking at the house. Yeah, you're like 255. So, yeah, 255, five, yeah. You only have to be 10 more precise should not mention individual mills in these directions. Um, so now we only need the distance. Now this is the tricky part. Um, yeah, we'll do another practical part at the uh, second part, because apparently this wasn't uh, working out very well. We'll have to tune that. Um, so the tricky part here is to get the distance right now, obviously. So in this case, if we don't have a rangefinder, if the BMP is so small that measuring his height or width in mils, I mean you can, you can measure this BMP to be about 5 mils wide, right? If you know how long the BMP is, so like 3-4 meters, you can very roughly calculate the distance, but this is of course uh, very unprecise in this case. So, you've got or you can use a ruler. You've got 255 meters yeah, on the map, this yeah. from here to there, so what, how would you translate into um, that into how much you would 2.5 mils actually. 2.5, uh, yeah. Uh, um, how would you translate that into what you tell them to adjust by? Well, the... That that has... Uh, it comes later. Right now we're trying to determine the distance to this house. Right? So we're trying to yeah. range estimate. It's nothing really to do with Ford Observer. It's a general land nav skill, really. Right. So, um... If we knew how big the house is, we could calculate it. It's kind of hard if you don't have any reference thing. That's why you should always know of common vehicles to dimension, because that can be very handy. Or you have a rangefinder. Or, as he just mentioned, you use your ruler, you go on the map and measure it out. 
or a map tool. Of course, that well. You can measure buttons, with. No, 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 you can measure with your single ruler, this one that comes with armor. Mm. Yeah, you or can, but... How? What? What ruler? Uh, the one in the compass, you know, in the side of the compass there is a ruler. Oh, I didn't know there was oh, a it's compass. It's very unprecise though. How do you it's not very precise. Um, you look to the target and then it will be orientated, you measure the distance and then you look north and then you compare how many grids that distance was equivalent to, and then you calculate it. Yeah, you can basically count the grid squares as well and use basic uh, Pythagoras to calculate the angle and thing. That's well, right? So it's the whole compass, basically, for my zoom level. How about, gentlemen, we teleport quickly back to the thing, we grab a laser rangefinder and try polar out with that, because then it will become a piece of cake. It's apparently the problem really is here. The So it's about two and a half kilometers from here to the house. Is what I just yeah, guessed. So needed. direction would be two five. What do we say? Uh, two five point five, I think. Two five five zero, and distance two thousand, and altitude wise, we're probably a hundred meters or so lower. Uh, it's, it's two and a half. Two five five. Three hundred meters. Two, four, five. I think was the elevation of the TRP. I'm, I I told him so. Uh, if we're looking at 300, we're currently at the OP-1, so we're at 560, so we're talking about 260 meters down. Right? And there you have your polar. Now this sounded all completely complicated and took obviously very long, but if... So, the 255 that you got off the mills from the uh, compass, that's what you tell them? Yeah. Yes, that's your observer target. Ah, that's what I was wondering. I didn't know if you had to calculate that into. No, you don't have to calculate well. anything. You, if you have a laser rangefinder, all you do is you point your laser at the target. You read the mills on the left and the distance on the right. Okay, right. I, I'm completely caught up with you know. That was the only thing that was confusing me. And now to do the really easy part is with a laser designator or what? range finder. With a range finder and a dagger, this would be the easiest thing. Yeah, ever. if you have a dagger, then you can get a grid. If you only have a rangefinder though, what I'm saying is you do not always have this uh, combination of things, Vector or so Flam and Dag, right? You have to be able to work with the... Actually on Green Goose, the Famine didn't even find it necessary to, for the observer to have a monocular. All I had was a, a compass. Actually Red Lover was so kind to give me one during the mission then... Um, well yeah, I guess if you're playing an old, old uh, say 80s mission with uh, fire support, you're not exactly going to have the Pago. Yeah, but yes. you'll get map tools right. most of the time because they did you'll have the map, track. So. map See, tools that's what I'm saying. this incredibly easy, especially if you've done a navigation course, because that entire well, thing yeah, is I mean, that, that's easy. one of the, the methods you have, but um, unfortunately it's not taught in the navigation course parts. I remember being able to range estimate using a mill reticle on a weapon or on a binocular. You can do the same no, thing with your standard mill reticle on the weapon. Um, and every, every sniper knows how to do that, so it's a very, it's not a special skill I just invented here, you know, it's a common, yeah. it's, it's the common technique to be used. The only thing that's taught during the navigation course is how to use the map tools to do it. <laughs> yeah, and that can, can take very long. If you're trained to do this, and I typically, you know, can get this thing rolling within 10 seconds. Well, you could thing. judge the, hold on, I just found a way you could judge the distance of that house is by looking at the... The corner of the road, yep. the other corner of the road. That looks yeah. it's like 15 mils. Corner of the road oh. to the other corner of the road. Oh, never mind, never mind. Yeah, but the road yeah. is on an angle, right? It's not if going you know right how long to the distance is, then yeah, you can calculate it. You need yeah. to have some known barrier in these equation, right? That's why you need to know how long the BMP is. That's a good reference, because the BMP will always be the same length. Houses and trees typically have different lengths. Can't you get a basic uh, judgment of how far it will... Aren't we still uh, waiting for a round here, though? I'm sorry to interrupt. No, oh, I sorry. didn't. Uh, can you get a basic judge of I how far away it is using the contour interval and just looking at the map? The contour interval. If you just look at the map, if you roughly guesstimate using the map, and that's what we did earlier, I looked at the map, I used my uh, I, my ruler, I zoomed in in the way that uh, one kilometer was 10 centimeters on my screen, 
then I held the linear towards these three lines there where they converge for roughly that radar is sitting at and I got around two kilometers if that makes any sense uh, and there that's already enough, enough <laughs> if you have the time to adjust on it this anti-aircraft radar will not want to run away right so you can adjust on it and the way you do a bracket then in the the, the proper technique to do is use successive bracketing for this so you would shift it left and right until it's on your observer target line on the line that is with your compass or with your binocular the vertical thing is your observer target line to the thing you would adjust it left and right until it's on that line and then all you have to do is range shift it until it hits and the way you do it is you drop for example if you're establishing an initial 400 meter bracket and the round is short of the target we would add um, 200 meters so it's gonna land somewhere north of the thing then you drop 100 meters and then you continuously drop until you are in a 50 meter bracket on the target and then you know that you're 50 meters within the target and then you can just call fire for effect as long as left and right didn't change anything Lately got you now yep I believe I um, sort of actually understand this now which is rare for me I know it's a uh, took me myself a long time to fully understand this entire process so I'm not expecting everybody to be an expert here after me rambling on it for uh, two hours because um, I know I'm not always making myself 100% clear so We'll go over this. Um, I don't know what the. Let me. What was the last thing we did on this mission? I didn't really follow it anymore. Was were we still waiting for rounds here, or? I never called it in to destroy it. I gotta shift it thirty to the shift right. Shift sixty right. Did you shift it sixty right? No, 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 no. We still have to do that. It, it yeah, hit thirty did. mils to the to the left. When are we doing the exam, by the way? Next course, and we'll have to do a lot more practicing before that. Yeah. When is the next course? I wanted to put up a doodle where everybody can sign in when he has time and then see when the most people can make it and if those people that cannot make it out do it again so, somewhere where they can. Because I, I just running because I can't do anything tomorrow because I gotta go to do uh, No, no, not tomorrow. It'll be somewhere in the either after Christmas or at the end of this week. Okay, so I gotta go do stuff like SWAT team training and stuff. SWAT team? I'm in high school and I'm an actor and stuff and so they're having a uh, the actors from the school and actors from around here go uh, train with the SWAT team. Sounds okay. epic. Like Do I you guys want to go uh, teleport back to the base and grab a ra laser rangefinder and get some quick polar missions going here for the conclusion sure. of this before everybody goes home? Okay. Yeah. But Can I uh...
Argus, uh, radio check over. Argus, this is Salvo, radio 5x5, five five, over. Yeah, Argus, uh, just uh, for purpose of this training, all previous missions are cancelled, uh, and we're going to start from scratch here. We had to clear some things up. I hope you guys uh, got yourself straightened up a little bit as well, get things a little bit more responsiveness, and uh, let's give it another try. Over. Yeah, Roger, we, um, we are down uh, using only one gun. Um, with one uh, guy gunning and uh, one on the commanders, so uh, hopefully uh, more effective now. Perfect, out. Oh wow, this basically gives you the lines you need if you use the dagger and uh, so flame. Yeah, if you, you can you even do it without a dagger. Yeah, but I'm saying it basically, it's to that house, it's 2,510 meters elevation, 272 meters. So look, meters. If, you, if I lace the anti-aircraft radar, I have 2.1 kilometers, which is pretty close to what I uh, uh, guesstimated there. So, I don't know why we were so off earlier. Um, so, uh, Haribo wanted to call the next target. Just choose a target, or if you want to, I can spawn you some infantry in the open, whatever you want. I hit. Uh, I'm pick the target. So you still, uh, you have to retrans your position before you do a polar, right? So you have to look at the grid again, and we're pretty much on the center of the grid almost, uh, but if you have a dagger with you, you can even get it more precise. I like how the tanks, uh... It looks like a dummy tank. Yeah, it looks like a very... It's a dark... dummy tank. It's a whole wooden dummy tank. Oh, it's a whole... Oh, it's d <laughs> Cool. I was wondering why it looks so weird. Uh, <laughs> would you agree that the elevation to there is about... 420? If you look on the map, you'll see that hill. And it looks uh, that it's 308, so it's about 260 meters. Oh, is it that hill? I was, I was looking at the hill a bit. Alright. Uh, 308, so 260 meters, did you say? Yeah. Which Down ones are you hitting? 260. Are you hitting the ones to the right, the western ones? We're looking at the tanks. So if I'm using my laser rangefinder here, just let me let me know what I would do. I'd lace the center of these two tanks. I'm getting a direction 3066. Yep, that's what. Uh, I'm getting a distance one two four zero. And that's it. Distance one two four zero. Direction I've got three. From I'm getting exactly the, where I am. I've their got their elevation uh, is three zero seven. If you have it hooked to your uh, dagger. Yes. Can we please go one by one here? Um, okay. Uh, I've got uh, one two five uh, one two five zero distance three zero five. Uh, Three zero five. Sorry, I've done that the wrong way around. Uh, sh la uh the lateral shift is three zero five. Uh, you don't need a lateral shift. That's the uh, left and right, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Uh, you the don't direction, have a left and right direct, shift. Direction. Yeah. Direction. I was reading the wrong bit. Uh, so the direction on your soul flame. If you use, you're using the vector or soul flame. Uh, direct uh, vector. Okay, so if you press Alt R, you'll get mils on the left. Right side is your distance. Uh, okay. Right, yeah, I've got uh one two five oh one zero six one and height uh three eighty which is down two sixty I believe you said. Didn't fully get these figures. I have mill wise direction three zero six zero over. Yeah, that's what I've got, uh exactly. Uh apart from Perfect. Well, okay then how about you make a call? Sure. Fire. What's their uh, call sign again? Salvo. Apparently they use that in re real Danish armor. Most, yeah, makes sense. Salvo, this is Charlie, uh, adjust fire polar, over. Charlie, this is Salvo, adjust fire polar, out. Distance. One two five zero oh, direction three zero oh, six one uh, eleva uh, elevation to uh, down two six zero oh. over distance one two five zero 
direction 3061, down 260, out. Target description, one time tank out in the open, over. One tank in the open, Mench uh, do you send the uh, own position over? Uh, own, uh, no I didn't, own position is 026141, OP1 026141, OP1, over, correction, out Uh, apart from that, do I have to get, uh, what's the method of engagement quickly? Well, the method of engagement could be anything you want to specifically, ammo, fuse type, high angle so can I just leave that on the ground? You can leave that open, okay. although I'm counting two tanks, but <laughs> might be wrong. I'm just trying to engage the one particular one. Ah, okay. Oh, I was thinking uh, I was looking at the wrong we'll spot. just get the method of fire, fire and ready. No, you don't have to say that. I would do okay. fire for effect, actually, if it's... you got it that accurate. You got a very precise polar, yeah. You could I do would... that, but... I've just done... I'll have to talk to uh, my chief structure here for a minute. I would be still around to continue this if you guys don't quit in the meantime. So, uh, okay. uh, so is that pretty much uh, over? I just wait for them to fire then? Yes, you wait for the MTO and then they will fire the adjust rounds. And then once okay. you have adjusted them under the target, you say fire for effect and they'll fire the rounds in effect. And if the target is destroyed, you say end a mission, target destroyed, or if it's not, you say repeat. Or if there's still Charlie, target, this is Salvo, meshes to observer. You get target number Charlie zero, zero, 001, two rounds ICM, time of flight 48.5, over. Uh, Salcom, uh, Charlie zero, zero, 001, two rounds high explosive. I think I caught that, I wasn't actually. Was Wrong, two rounds ICM, you'll get. HE in your adjustment, over. Solid copy, two rounds ICM, over. Out. Shot over. Shout out. Shout out. That's a pretty good um, shot. So that's... Uh, what was the distance again? Distance was... 1250. So you can do... Uh, right... 10, drop 20? I, I don't know which tank you're referring to. Left... Uh, the left one. Uh, left 10, drop... Uh, it's, it's more ten. than ten then. It's more than ten. Okay. Uh. Oh wait. Yeah. Left. Uh. Twenty is. Drop. Mm, yeah. Fifteen to twenty. Fifteen. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. I, I've completely got yours. Just. It's, it's more. Than, yeah. Vector's a little 20. bit different. Uh. Yeah. So it's fifteen. Fifteen left. Drop. Ten. I believe. Yeah. Drop ten. Do you hold on? Do you have a what happened? What's his call sign again? I keep on forgetting it. Salvo. Salvo. Charlie to Salvo, fire, uh, fire for effect, uh, adjust fire. Fire for effect, adjust fire. <laughs> That's like over and out. 
Okay, uh... Charlie, this is, uh, Salvo, it's uh, either fire for effect or adjust fire oil. Still could be very fire for effect. Roger, fire for effect, out. Yeah, but it, it should be left 20, drop 10, fire for effect, right? Yes, I didn't listen well because I was in a different channel getting my tags here, but um, if you were still on the adjustment phase... Uh, scratch last, gonna reset it, sorry about that. Uh, Salcon, this is Charlie, left uh, left 20, drop 10, fire for effect. Over. Charlie, this is uh, Salvo, say again, over. Uh, Salvo, this is Charlie, left 20, drop 10. 10, fire for effect, over. Left 20, drop 10, fire for effect, out. Wow, this is going horribly wrong, but I'm not actually mad about it because it's my first time. Yes, it's fine. I don't worry. Like I only get half the power, but I'm seeing impact craters on the target, so it can't be that bad. It's like losing my virginity. Again. Again. Do you say again that you want a splash? And you want a... Request splash. A request, okay. Would that be a method of engagement? You could request that any time, really. I mean, unless the rounds are... Shut over. Before, before the rounds. Shout out. So you could say after, when you now make a new adjustment, you just say after the adjustment, request flash. I mean, there's no reason really to request that so we can look at the target. Of course, Shut right to bleed. Right your attention again. If he fires for effect, he will announce rounds complete when the effect rounds are fired. Is that when I end the mission? You'll now okay. wait for the rounds to hit, then you'll see, okay, the tanks are destroyed, or the tanks are not destroyed, or I just don't care about the tanks anymore and I end the mission, you could do, of course, I mean, it could be that, for example, your commander says, I need to move in that town now, stop firing, and they say, okay, end the mission, target, not touched, and if you're good, then you will send him the refinement if it was still off the target, but that's a lot of advance, just, just remember, end the mission, end the PDA. Wow, that went miles off. Oh, where was that? Oh, no. Look quite okay. That went up uh, when I called it down. He said he was for an HE now. You guys seem to be a little confused today. Where the fuck did I go wrong there? <laughs> Maybe nothing. I didn't fully uh, watch the entire process, so... I don't think anything went... Well, I called it to go down and it went up and too far left. Yeah, the, yeah seeing that too. So, yeah. I've no idea how the, what they're doing with it to pick him. Apparently, uh, maybe you should revert back to HE and make sure you can get HE working. Because if they they are doing stuff with the uh, to pick him they shouldn't do, then it's not your fault. So, so what, do I, what do I say when I want them to change to HE? Three rounds HE quick. Repeat over if you want to have them fire at the same location. Okay, uh. Or whatever round count you want. Could you listen to this, make sure I get this right? Of course. Salcom, this is Charlie. Uh. Adjust five right, same down, three rounds HE over. You don't have to say all this, whatever that was supposed to mean at the beginning. He, as long as you don't say anything, he'll fire at the last adjustment you made, alright? So he'll not change yeah, the barrel, yeah. pretty much. Wanted, Unless, okay. So, so you would I... just say, if you just wanted to have HE now on the thing, and obviously you were a little, uh, you would have to, if you wanted to correct for that last error of impact, right? You would drop, and you would uh, write. So you would write, I don't know, 100, drop 50, or write 50, drop 50. Charlie, this three is salvo, you get uh, no correction, uh, three rounds fire for effect, uh, out. What if I, uh, with this, I saw that it went a little bit 
too far left, so I tried correcting it, then do I just ignore saying down and go straight on to three rounds HE? Wait, so you say that you don't need to correct the, the range I, anymore? I uh, don't need to correct the range, no, uh, but oh, it was too to far left. Shut over. Shout out. I love hooking my dagger up to my Sofalan or my rangefinder. It's so nice. The um, corrupt can call in a grit system in admission after that. That's, that's my favorite. Charges. Salvo, shot and rounds complete. Out. Rounds complete. Uh, I don't know why he says out. You should say over. He's not replying, so. That's why he's saying out. Oh, well, I only know I spotted more vehicles there. Down the valley. That's not okay. AG. That is not AG. Short again. Not too far. Okay, let me. What you would say now is you say drop 50, three rounds HE, repeat over. Oh, oh actually, we're hitting the tank. Oh, out. Right, so how do I end the fire mission? Do I, uh... You say, end of mission, tank destroyed. Over. End of mission, tank destroyed. Over. End of mission, target destroyed. Out. And hey. you, in the meantime, lower the entire forest as well. Good job. <laughs> Way. Okay, you're here. I'm gonna call in um, one to the right of those tanks. The two tanks on the right side? Yeah. Awesome, right. Salvo, this is Charlie. Fire for effect. Over. Perfect. Charlie, this is uh, Salvo. You just uh, ended the missions. Uh, verify, fire for effect, over. Yes, it's a new mission. Yes, a new mission. Grid zero two six one three one three zero zero seven. Over. Grid zero two six one three one three zero zero seven. Out. Two tanks in the open. Three rounds H E. Over. Tell you what, I'm gonna create my own uh, call for fire card just so I can remember. I have three to tanks creation tank in the open. If you go three rounds H E out. Post on the thing. I wanted to compile that before I was too stupid. I uh, forgot it, I mean. Um, in the J Fire manual, page seventeen or something, there is a set of cards for all of these types of missions and that's what I'm using as well. I find that the best. Um, but I mean, choose whatever you want. Because uh, I, I saw the call for fire card that was linked in TeamSpeak, and I feel like that That's was missing a couple. Of, yeah, yeah, missing a couple of things. If you know what is in there, then that's probably handy. But if you don't know, then I would recommend a more detailed one. Let me give you the link. Thank you. Oh yeah, I see. I can't actually find the link. Anyways. <laughs> If you look on the... Oh wait, I'm just digging it out. I'm trying to find the new version. I'll link the older version there. I have the newer version printed out. And now my fucking browser is killing itself. Oh, I love that. I will extract that again and post it in the thing so everybody can get it. Charles, Savo, did you read my last over? So this is Charlie, say again, over. Message to observer, you get target number Charlie 002, three rounds HE, time of flight 48, over. Charlie, copy, out. To be honest, I absolutely hate when people do that to me. Shut over. Do what? Do what? 
Um, ten digit grid, for example, without telephone. Shut over. Yeah, you should Shut out. Ten digit grid before you say it. Oh, it's sorry about that. Don't no, no worry. If you look in TeamSpeak, that's a link. Unfortunately, that's the one from '97. I have one from 2007, which looks a little nicer in design, but the content is the same. Um, if you go to the pages, there ha there's. Uh, oh, this Child, this is Salvo. Round complete. Over. So this is Charlie. Copy. Oh. If you scroll down the thing, I have my my uh, vanilla PDF Google Chrome browser who doesn't show me page numbers. Fourteen, I think. Yeah, it could be 14, artillery motor fires where it starts, basically you have the entire transmissions explained, and after that, uh, there there's some cards, and these are recommended to print out. You have one for adjust fire grit, you have one for fire for effect grit, you have a marking mission grit, you have, uh, oh wait a minute, yeah, I gotta get you the new one, the new one is even better. <sighs> Okay, new link. That is. And if you scroll down after the table of contents, there comes some convoy o uh, operations bullshit. Okay, you took one of the things now. Yeah, I'm gonna have him repeat with DPICM. So, uh, this is Charlie. Repeat DPICM. Over. Repeating three rounds, ACM, roger out. <clears throat> a lot of the procedure stuff going on right now is a little off the books, but the I think the uh, intent is clear. My page is, is this beyond? Yeah, I'm trying to figure that out right now. Wait one. I found it, I think. Uh, fire for effect mission grid method. Shut over. Shit from noon point. Uh, page like 20. Right there. Oh yeah, uh, 32 it is for me. And following. These what? I have printed out, I find them the most handy. Because you have one for every combination of type of mission and method or location. <laughs> Rounds complete, over. And even for the special ones. Try to copy. Oh. Alright, here comes the deep ass Oh, it's on page 30 for me. Dude, this is... beautiful. Yeah, unfortunately it has these margins. I will, I will actually load this thing in my Acrobat uh, Professional and cut these margins out and just extract these pages and load it up as a new PDF if you want to. I'm gonna... Create my own one just for my own understanding as well, but sure, yeah. reading these are pretty good Whatever as well. But these I have printed out. Things a bit short. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. The little rounds look pretty good. The DPICM will always have a little deviation, I think. You can never get this name. It, it bursts a bit before, right? So you should drop a bit. I just don't understand if I gave him a grid that's kind of below it, how come it's not? Hmm. But you know, if you take the direction of the gun, it's coming from that direction and just bursting a bit before. Yeah. Yes, we have an extremely high angle T in this case. That's almost uh, 1,800 mils, right? So, in most cases, you will be the guns will be behind you, so your observer target and gun target line will not differ a lot. In this case, they are very far apart from each other. Yeah. The, the typically multiplies the deviation, and that's why this is important. Actually, we are completely aligned with the gun here. To this target. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Would we be calling out pretty much the exact same thing if it was a manual adjust gun? If it was a manual adjust gun, when you say that we would determine the firing data, we would doing a completely different thing. We'd use the gun target line and we would calculate with simplified firing tables the actual firing solution for them. So we would tell them wh how to elevate their barrel and how to elevate their deflection, which we can't do for the Paladin because you can't manually adjust, uh, you can't use the rated ops in the Paladin. You have to use the FCS. And for the mortars, of course, that's possible. But uh, 
I really wouldn't recommend that, unless you, as observer, are way more skilled in operating the motors than the guy on the motors, and then you'll not be very effective. Or you're using so, a calculator like I have, and you have it calculated all for you. Yeah, if you have that, if you're running around with a motor battery, ballistic computer, and the guys on the motors don't have one, then obviously that's advantageous. Which I'm working on it for the M19. I'm gonna do that next. The thing is, is I don't ha have it calculating the height difference because that's too much math. So for general sake, uh, when calling out for the motor team who had to adjust it manually, we would just give them the same kind of data we're giving them now. Yeah, or you would just give them the same data, but instead of using your observer target line, use the gun target line, because then they you can directly give them. Um, you know, you could calculate for them already the change in deflection they have to do in mills. Or if you give them, you know, the, the meters in def uh, deflection along their gun target line, then they can easily calculate the mills out of it. Um, and the distance, um, obviously they just have to add and drop the distance on their firing table, you know, so it makes it a lot easier if you are able to shift along the gun target line. So in this case, the gun target line would be almost opposite to our gun target line, right? So you'd have to imagine a gun target line over the from the from the south coming into these tanks it's obviously a lot harder to visualize that's why you use this by standard right? if you did have to do it that way is there a particular name for calling it for their line gun target line okay check did you call um, end of mission Oh no, uh, so I just say in a mission, get effect on target. I want to have to think this right, right? Correct term would be neutralized, destroyed, suppressed, or something like that. But, uh, you, yeah, good effect on target is also good. Salvo, this is Charlie in fire mission. BDA is as follows one times tank destroyed, one times tank neutralized. Effect on target. Over. Right. So this is Salvo. End of mission. One tank destroyed. One tank neutralized. Over. Who's calling this one? Whatever. Whoever wants. I can call one. Well, I have to call a days. I'm back here. Gotta grab some. Yeah. yeah. Sure thing. Um, I will put up a doodle in the in the po post for the second part, so everybody will just sign in when he has time. I know that the holidays are coming up, so we'll have to see when we can do it. Um, I hope you can live uh, a few weeks without the tags. Um, <laughs> sure. I want my no tag problem now. with that. <laughs> All right. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, uh, appreciate uh, appreciate you showing up, gentlemen, and the discipline. I was had no issues with anybody here. And Any chance if you're still free I could do a couple more practice? Of course, yeah. I would be around for another hour or two at least. Uh, if the guys on the gun drop, uh, I can man the gun myself. Brilliant. Uh, uh, I got a go. Well, thanks anyway, guys. Just good. What? Yeah, th uh, thank you for showing up. Whoever that was. Yeah, no, I'm just mm. asking to call on mission before mm. you go. Go ahead. Delta. Uh, 